Hey everyone, so the CD Projekt Red, they just released a new game set in the Witcher universe and that's Gwent Rogue Mage, which is a single player expansion to the quite popular uh, multiplayer card game Gwent. And there are actually many people who have issues with running the game. Um, I also had this issue, so when you download it, it doesn't work out right out of the box, but there is actually a solution on how to fix it. Uh, so first you got, what you gotta do is you gotta go to Discover Store and you gotta download from there um, an app called Proton Tricks. So I already downloaded it a while ago. I used it for some other games. Uh, and when you install it, you have to go to, um, you have to go probably to Utilities. Um, is it here? Yeah, it's here. So there's an app called Proton Tricks. You gotta click on it. And uh, now you pick the game you wanna apply the Proton Tricks to, and that's um, Gwent. So it's, it might take a while actually to open it, so give it some, uh, some time. Yeah, so you might get this error, just ignore it. Every time it, this error pops up, just ignore it, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not going to have any impact on what you want to do with the game. Um, what you're going to do now here is you're going to go to select the default one prefix. Got to click OK. Uh, you might get an error, it also might take some time to load for you. For me, it yeah, already loaded. Um, yeah, so what you're gonna do now is you have to go to install a Windows DLL or component. So you gotta click this here to tick. Now click OK. Once again, might take a while. And now you're gonna have this huge list of Windows DLLs that you might wanna install. What you want to do is you're going to go down here. It's going to be slow. And what you want to do is you want to install MFC 140. Once again, you want to install MFC 140. So you got a ticket. I already did it because I installed it and I tested the, uh, the fix. And when you do it, you want to click OK. And this will apply the DLL. Now, I did it. Let's see if the game works. Now, once again, it does not work out of the box. You have to do this fix at the moment, which is actually a shame because in my opinion, CD Projekt Red should have done it to make sure that uh, that the game runs well on Steam Deck right out of the box, but it doesn't work with Proton, Proton Experimental, Proton GE, even the latest Proton GE. So you gotta do this DLL installation. And now let's see if the game works. And it works. So now I'm gonna start working on the gameplay for the game. I'm gonna, of course, run it from the game mode right now. But as you can see, the game runs well. Um, it also has a controller support from what I know, but so far I've been just using the, uh, the, mouse, um, the mouse contact. So I'm gonna post the gameplay soon, but first I want to give you this good news that actually the game runs on Steam Deck, but you might have to do a bit of tinkering if it doesn't work for you out of the box. Uh, thank you. Uh, see you soon on the channel and subscribe if you want to have more news and more gameplays for Steam Deck.